Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about Chebyshev's theorem. It's actually a remarkable theorem. Going back to the typical standard of deviation for a normal distribution, we know that if we have data within plus or minus one sigma, one standard deviation, we expect 68% of all data to fall within that range. And for normal distribution, we expect 95% of the data to fall within plus or minus two sigma, two standard deviations from the mean. And we expect almost 100%, 99.7% of all the data to fall within plus or minus three sigma from the mean if the data distribution is normal. But what if the data distribution is not normal? Is there some minimum amount that we can expect to fall within plus or minus one sigma, plus or minus two sigma, plus or minus three sigma, or any other number in between, or more than that, it doesn't matter. Can we figure that out? And it turns out Chebyshev did just that. His theorem says that the proportion of any, and that's the key, any distribution, it doesn't have to be a normal distribution, that lies within k standard deviations, k could be one, one and a half, two, one and three quarters, three, doesn't matter, that many standard deviations from the mean is at least one minus one over k square, where k is greater or equal to one. So it doesn't work for k being less than one, but from one and greater, it does work. So again, the key is, this applies to any distribution of data. And so what does that mean? Well, that means that if k is equal to 1, meaning plus or minus 1 sigma or 1 standard deviation, Chebyshev said that at least 0% of the data falls within that. It can be more, but it's at least 0. So, well, that does make a lot of sense. At least it's not that useful for plus or minus 1. But anything over 1, it does make a difference. For example, if k is equal to 2. So if we have any random distribution, does not be normal, we can be assured, according to Chebyshev's theorem, that if you go look for plus or minus two sigma, plus or minus two standard deviations, he says that at least 75% of the data will fall within that range. Normally, it should be 95% if we have a normal distribution, but for any random distribution, any distribution, it will be at least 75%, and that's really important. And then lastly, let's say if k is equal to three, so we're looking for all the data falling between plus or minus three sigma. We know that for a normal distribution, it's almost 100%, 99.7%. But for any other distribution, any distribution, Chebyshev said that it's at least 88.9% of all the data. And the way it's calculated, you calculate the one minus one over k squared. In this case, if k is three, one over three squared is one over nine, one minus one over nine, is 0.889 or 88.9%. So that comes in very handy in case we're dealing with data does, that does not have a normal distribution. We can use Chebyshev's theorem to calculate the minimum amount of data falling between plus or minus k sigma, k being one or greater. And that is what we mean by Chebyshev's theorem.